Beloved, it is great joy to come to your homes with revelation of hope, bringing hope into you wherever you find yourself. There is Hope Channel, and we are here with Revelation of Hope, another episode. We know the Lord is going to bless you. And I'm here not alone, but with Pastor Peo and Pastor Nico, so that the Lord himself will use us to bless you. But we're not going to do it alone, so take your Bible, take your pen and your notebook. And as we've been studying a lot, today we are moving to another area, but the same book of Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible and of the New Testament. I know you are going to be with us. And the Lord himself is going to bless you. We are live on Facebook and YouTube. Join us as we delve into this study today. But before we do that, can we have a, a recap of last week's lesson so we can help us to know what we are about today? Pastor. Yeah, last week we began our study on Revelation chapter 4, which emphasized on what is actually happening in the throne room of heaven. And so the focus of uh, the discussion was on the worship of God. Mm -hmm. and so we discussed from Revelation chapter 4, verse 1 to 11, that God is on his throne. And uh, the chapter revealed the 24 elders and the four living creatures and what they are doing in the heavenly throne room. And uh, um, the bedrock of their activity is, is the worship of God. And the whole chapter emphasized um, on the divinity of God and the divinity of Christ as well. And the chapter also revealed um, the Spirit of God. And so the divinity of the Holy Spirit was also emphasized. And so we, we, we discussed the triune God and why they deserved to be worshipped. And so the chapter called on all humanity to pay allegiance to God, to worship God, not only because he created this world, but also for um, that he sustains our world also. And so today we are going to um, continue our discussion mm -hmm. uh, from chapter 5, which is a continuation of what we discussed last week. Okay. 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 So we, we want to begin today's um, session with a word of prayer. So wherever you are, please join us as we invite God to speak to us. Dear Lord, it is time for us to open your words, especially as we go through the book of Revelation, we humbly ask that you fill us with the Holy Spirit. Bless our viewers and grant them the understanding uh, into your word so that they may know the truth that are hidden inside your word. And we live a life of hope, knowing that you have a plan for us in these last days. In Jesus Christ's name we are prayed. Amen. 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 Yeah, viewers, we're moving to chapter 5 of Revelation. But you know, with Revelation of Hope, we don't leave any stone on 10. Yeah. So we want to go back to chapter 4. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two key things we want to address today. Okay. That is the, the four living creatures mm -hmm. and the 24 elders. So okay. we're going to handle that one before we delve into chapter 5, mm -hmm. which is an intro, more of like an introduction to chapter yeah. 6. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> beloved, let's turn to Revelation chapter 4. And let us look at from 6, right? From yeah. 6. Yeah. And it says, Before the throne, there was a sea of glass. Which is okay, let me, let me go. Let me go straight. Okay, let, let me read from that. Crystal, that crystal. And in the midst of the throne, and around the throne, were the four living creatures, full of eyes, in front and in, in back. Mm -hmm. Now, it describes them. The first living creature, so one of the main point we find here is that they are, have they full, they are of full, what? Eyes. full of what? Full of eyes. So you see, you, 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 they can see from every side. Yeah. All right. The first living creature was like a lion. So it comes again, was like. <coughs> so it's not a lion, but, but it was like, 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 like a lion. lion. Yeah. So, and the second living creature was like a cow. And the third living creature had a face like a man. And the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. Mm. The four living creatures, each having six wings, and were full of eyes around and within. Mm -hmm. And they do not rest day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who is, who, who was, who is, and who is to come. Amen. 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 So Amen. Uh, now 
John sees something very, very important. Mm. You see, in, in, the, in most of the time, when John sees, he just says, I see this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one, he took critical time to, to tell, explain, the, explain mm -hmm. who yeah. they were. Mm -hmm. And they were four. They all had eyes. Mm -hmm. they, were, they, 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 they all had six wings. Mm -hmm. huh. And they were all uh, saying, praising, let's say, praising God, mm -hmm. so giving glory to God. Mm -hmm. But uh, how do you, let us look at what John is talking about here. Okay. What really is the idea? Yeah, okay. I, I think there are two things about this, 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 um, um, these beings. Mm -hmm. Number one is their identification, who yeah. they are. Mm -hmm. And number two is their characteristics, what they depict. Mm -hmm. And so I think um, we, we, we can talk about their identification. And when mm -hmm. we, we get to know who they are, then I think we can also talk about what they are doing. And the description that is given will help us to know what actually um, they are doing and who exactly they are. Mm -hmm. And so he says that they were four living creatures. Mm -hmm. And so the four um, primarily, it, 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 it's an allu there, there is an allusion here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can send it back to the Old Testament times. Mm -hmm. And um, when we picture the throne room of God, mm -hmm. as yeah. we discussed last week, yeah. we can talk about how the four living creatures are positioned. You know, they are four, not five or three. Yeah. And the four talks about <coughs> the four cardinal points yeah. in, in our world. Mm -hmm. sure. And it depicts that our God rules over every part of the world. Mm -hmm. And so even in Israel, when they are going to war or the, when they were moving from the wilderness, um, the three tribes were positioned in, in the cardinal point. Yeah. So we will have some from the north, some from the south, some from the east and the west. Yeah. And so these were, uh, when you read Numbers chapter 2, you, you can get this, this, yeah. this, this from there. And so we see that in the throne room of God, we have four beings mm -hmm. who are positioned, yeah. one from the front and one from the back, mm -hmm. the, 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 the left and the right, mm -hmm. which talks about the position of the cardinal point. And we, we, we can understand from, from the Bible that yeah. These four living creatures don't have a description that will help us to know that um, truly yeah, they, they are, are this, these people. Others, yeah. Yeah. So what um, we, we, we can talk about their identification are just um, projections. Yes. So people have tried to depict mm. who they are, but actually biblically it is they are just projections mm. that people make. Mm. And one outstanding projection that we can make um, from here that because of their description and the work they are doing mm -hmm. and where they are positioned, Position. we can just say that they are um, some exalted beings, yes. exalted beings who have been raised to the standard that they can approach the throne of God mm -hmm. and worship him right before. Mm -hmm. And biblical, you see that uh, mostly winds are alluded to angels, mm -hmm. not human beings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or animals. Mm -hmm. And so when we take the creatures on earth or creatures in this world, mm -hmm. um, beside the, the trinity, we get to angels and we come to human beings. Mm -hmm. And so um, animals are now not literally projected of having wings. And um, human beings are also projected not of having wings. But mm -hmm. angels do fly. Mm -hmm. And so we can say that they are maybe um, some angelic beings who have been exalted to that standard mm. to be at the center of God's throne mm. and to worship God in this way. Okay, okay, I think we can we can also go to the Old Testament to give us a more clearer yeah, understanding yeah, yeah, of yeah, this. Yeah, Let yeah. us look at Ezekiel. Yeah. yeah. Pastor, can you help us with that? When, when you read Ezekiel chapter one, um, let me read from verse five. Um, it says, "And also from within it came the likeness of four living creatures, mm -hmm. and this was their appearance." they had the likeness of a man. Each one had four faces, and each one had four wings. Their legs were straight, and the <coughs> soles of their feet were like the soles of calves' feet. Yeah. They sparkled like the color of a burnished bronze. The hands of a man were under their wings and, uh, and on their four sides, mm -hmm. each on, or of the four faces and four wings. Their wings touched one another, the creatures did not turn when they went, but each one went straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, each had the face of a man. Each, each of the four had the face of a lion. 
on the right side, each of the four had the face of ox. On the left side, each of the four had the face of an eagle. So basically, Pastor, I think it is describing the same thing that John, yeah. John saw in the book of Revelation. But there's also another you know, allusion in the Old Testament I, I want us to read, and that is found in the book of Isaiah. Okay, mm -hmm. Let, let's go to the book of Isaiah. This was a vision that um, Isaiah had. Okay, so when you go to Isaiah chapter 6, um, when you read from verse 2 onwards, it talks about the Isaiah's vision. Yeah. It says, um, in, let me read from verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above his two, the seraphim, each one had six wings. Mm -hmm. with, with two, he covered his face. With two, he covered his feet. And with two, he flew. And he mm -hmm. cried to, the, to, to, uh, to one another and said, Holy, holy, um, to the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. Yeah. So the vision of Isaiah is also similar to that of Ezekiel and also similar to that of John in Revelation chapter 4 that we read. But Pastor, one thing that will really help us to understand this, as Pastor Nicholas Elias said, is that you realize that Isaiah said in a vision he saw seraphims. seraphims. And we know when we go back to the Old Testament during the Ark of the Covenant, mm -hmm. when it was in this mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. the, the, the inside the, the most holy place, yeah, the Ark of the Covenant, Ark of had two cherubims. Yeah. And they were carved, made of yeah, gold. Yeah. Okay, their wings touched each other. each other. If you read Isaiah, these angels too, their wings touch each other. Their mm -hmm. They basically cover themselves. Mm -hmm. And John also saw them with the same kind of yes. wind. Yes. So it gives us an idea, and realize in our previous lesson, we talked about the centrality of God's throne. Yeah. God was in the middle, and the angels surround him. Okay, so if this was what was in the most holy place, made of gold, then it stands to reason that in the heavens, there are some powerful angelic beings mm -hmm. who surround the throne of God. Mm -hmm. In fact, mm -hmm. right after those angels, you come to God himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those angels are within <coughs> the throne of God, and after that, before we get to the 24 elders. So, 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 so the point we are making is that the, the four living creatures mm -hmm. are exalted angels. Angels, yeah. yeah. So we we'll say, you know, somebody said that, you know, when you go to the military, they are ranks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the same way, in the angelic world, so they are ranks. Guidance so of the throne. These mm -hmm. are the highest, we, can, we may say that these are the highest ranks because yeah. they are the closest to the mm -hmm. throne of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and even the kind of work they are doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And but he says that they are the guidance of the throne. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they lead in worship. In worship, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you realize that in the last part of John's statement, it says uh, day and night, they, do they never rest. rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and that's exactly holy, what holy, uh, Isaiah also yeah. said. Yeah. They yeah. say holy, holy. Yeah. And to so the Lord I, think, of I think in some we can say that um, Isaiah chapter 6. Mm -hmm. And Ezekiel chapter 1 and Revelation chapter 4, mm -hmm. the four living creatures that are represented here, mm -hmm. uh, they are talking about the same beings. Mm -hmm. But um, much emphasis should not be placed on the identification. Mm -hmm. But as um, we identify the kind of work they are doing, mm -hmm. is what is prudent and what we need to um, um, emphasize on. Mm -hmm. and so I think, Pastor, we, we, we can... Um, Consider the, the, the description. Uh -huh. It says that um, they have eyes in front and back. Yeah. And, and the eyes talk about um, um, vision and intelligence. And, and you, see, you see, in the same way, he says in verse 8 mm -hmm. that uh, each have six wings full mm -hmm. of eyes around and within. Yeah. Yes, yes. And so he talk about um, um, vision and intelligence. Yeah. yeah. So nothing can escape them, mm -hmm. and, and um, nothing can also hinder from them. Mm -hmm. So they That's know I think everything. They call them the guidance yes. of, of the truth. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And so it, it tells you what God is. And if the angels mm -hmm. have eyes, mm -hmm. that goes around. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that will help you to understand that mm -hmm. our God is, is omniscient. Mm -hmm. And he's also talking about the winds. The, the wings um, we know to represent swiftness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so within a twinkle of an eye, they can go and come. And that makes the worship scene so glamorous. Okay. Yeah. And it okay. talks about some important things. Uh, they are noble. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. They are strong, mm -hmm. they are wise, mm -hmm. they are swift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are the four points. And, and it's like, and they are four, mm -hmm. yeah. two. Yeah. So it's like this, how they, but you know, there is something that I want us to take note of that they never rest. rest. Oh, and yeah. that is the most important thing. And they do not rest day, day or, or night. night. Mm. So their, their, their duty is to worship, 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 and worship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are angelic beings. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the work they do. Mm -hmm. We are created human beings. Mm -hmm. What is our work? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the question you do. Mm -hmm. See, they do that is why they have been they have been placed there, created. That's why he the continues the saying the four living to creatures. To the the four living creatures. Their purpose is to praise him. So that is why we also need to find our purpose in life. Mm -hmm. Why why was I created? Mm -hmm. For what? Mm. <laughs> that 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 made it more understandable mm -hmm. and it helped us as Christians to yeah. understand that um worship is not a one time scene. No. If if you want to call yourself a Christian or you are a worshipper of mm. the supreme being, worship should be part of your life. It should be and continuous. So yeah, it should be a simultaneous thing. Mm. And we need to understand that mm -hmm. th the worship of the um, four living creatures. It's, it's a prefabricated part. Uh, it has a, mm -hmm. a fabricated mm -hmm. pattern. Mm -hmm. And so if you are a Christian, you can't just come before God and just do anything that you like. Mm -hmm. You need, there should be some sense of decorum mm -hmm. in, in our worship mm -hmm. because how they are doing it mm -hmm. is, is, is structured. It is structured. And so if you are a Christian, orderly manner. yes, don't mm -hmm. just yeah. come to church um, on Saturday on, or on Sunday or, or whatever day you worship and you come as a one-time scene, you say, you have come for worship. Mm -hmm. And when you move away from the church, worship closes or ceases. No. Mm -hmm. Worship is a lifetime activity. Yeah. And it should be part of our life every time, everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Th there is one other thing that I, I know viewers will be asking, yeah. uh, you know, about, what about the, their features? You know, mm -hmm. it says the... The one looks like a calf. Mm -hmm. Are, are yeah. we saying yeah. um, we have angels who who looks like calves? Angels who looks like I mean, let mm -hmm. me let me just be specific here. Yeah. It says um, the f first living creature was like a lion. Verse the seven. second, like verse seven. The second creature like a calf. Mm -hmm. The third creature like having the face of a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there is there is a statement made by you know one scholar that I love too much and. Mm -hmm that helps us to really understand. Uh, but first of all, we need to understand that these animalistic characteristics, mm. they, they, they symbolize the power of God, mm -hmm. you know, all through the Bible. And this man by the name of um, William Hendrickson says yeah. that out they are described, you know, uh, they are described as having strength like a lion. Mm, yeah. When you read Psalm 103 yeah. verse 20, it talks about <coughs> that, you know, the strength of God like a lion. And then the ability to render service like an ox. Mm -hmm. When you read Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, it talks about mm -hmm. that. They have intelligence like a man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and then they, 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 they are swift like eagle, as Daniel chapter 9 also mm -hmm. talks yeah. about. So, these animal descriptions are, uh, are not necessarily how they look, yeah, but no, it's describing their know, ability. Even, even their John power. says they are like. Like. Mm -hmm. that, that they are not lions that is they, are they don't have a face yeah. but they are like yeah, yeah. so he says yeah. let me take it again if you would understand mm -hmm. verse 7 of revelation chapter 4 mm -hmm. the first living creature was like a lion mm -hmm. it didn't say it's li a lion mm -hmm. was like so it is describing their powers yeah. their yeah. ability yeah. what they are able to do mm -hmm. and all that that is why we want to believe that th these are exalted you know yeah. beings the angelic powers you know at a different realm all together representing the power of God. And you know, Ranko, Ranko Stefanovich also makes claim that um, they, they take part in executing the wrath of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so judgment of God. That is why they are represented the way mm -hmm. they are represented. So let us understand that these are exalted angels. And probably by God's grace, when we finally make it to heaven, we will go and see them there. Yeah, in and uh, you know, sure. when, when yeah. we take the, the, the focus of the chapter, mm -hmm. that is worship, mm -hmm. and we take the description of the, um, um, the, four, the, living the, the four living creatures, it, it, it can also, also denote 
the rulership of God mm -hmm. over his creatures. Mm -hmm. Because we, we, we see that the eagle is seen to be the most powerful bird. Mm -hmm. The lion rules over the, 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 the animal kingdom. So yeah. and, and man has been opportune to rule over all mm -hmm. of them with our intellect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we can say that through um, 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 the, 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 the waves, mm -hmm. to the land, the, 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 the bush, mm -hmm. to humankind, God rules sure. because all should worship the Creator sure. and, 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 and so. So sure. I think we can focus yeah. on the 24, 24 yeah. elders too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and when let's, let's move to the 24 elders. I think now I'm you see sure. how the throne is, is like, it descends like that. Now from the four living creatures, you mm -hmm. come to the 24 elders. Yeah. And there's something that it says, you no, know, the four living creatures, they don't know rest, mm -hmm. but they say, holy, holy, holy. And after they have said that, mm -hmm. The 24 others fall flat. You know, mm -hmm. verse 10, it says, they fall down before the, the <coughs> before him who sits on the throne mm -hmm. and worship her. Mm -hmm. But let's go to verse 4. Mm -hmm. Verse 4 of chapter 4. Okay. Around the throne were 24, el 24 el thrones. Mm -hmm. And on the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and, had their, and, had, and they had crown of gold on their heads. <laughs> this is another area. Hmm. Now look at look at what John sees. John hmm. sees twenty four thrones, hmm. then twenty four elders sitting hmm. on the thrones, hmm. and they were wearing what white what ropes. ropes. Mm -hmm. and they also had what a crown of what gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these these are very interesting characteristics, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. But the 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 twenty four elders. I um, mean, appear in other parts of the book of Revelation as well. Sure. When you go to um, Revelation chapter 5, verse 8, they are mentioned there. You know, verse 14, they are mentioned there. And then when you go to Revelation chapter 19, verse 4 to, they are mentioned there. So even chapter 11 to? Yeah, chapter 11, verse 16, 16 yeah, they are mentioned there. Mentioned there. Yeah. So it appears in all these parts of the book of Revelation. But the key thing that we need to look at is the description that mm -hmm. it is given. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. the Bible, as in Revelation here, did not specifically mentioned that the 24 others are these people mm -hmm. yeah. there was yeah. um, in in verse 5 chapter 5 verse 8 one of them even uh, you know came to ask John a question a question he said do you yeah. know these people yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, said, five yeah. Verse, yeah. yeah. so th th yeah. That, that you know. he said you know yeah <laughs> but you know because you are here <laughs> you understand me yeah. and and so we need to find that what these people are mm -hmm. and then we would know what the purpose of them is but let me start by saying that the description that is given to them, okay, actually helps us to understand, understand who, they yeah, who they are. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. it says that, one, they are 24 elders. Yeah. I was saying that a lot of people believe that these are angels. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. th that, that is a general notion among the scholars, you know, mm -hmm. out there. They believe that these are angels, so that is sealed. But one thing that we need to understand is that Nowhere in the Bible are angels referred to as elders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Elders yeah. are titles always given to human beings. Human in fact, yeah. when you go to the Bible throughout, when the, you know, the church started f coming together, mm -hmm. they chose elders who were overseers of the church. You know? So nowhere in the Bible do we have angels refer referred to as elders. If when you go to um, verse 8 of Revelation chapter 5, listen yeah. to how John, John knows elders. He says, mm -hmm. now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, mm -hmm. each having a half, okay? And then um, mm -hmm. each having a half and a golden bowl full of incense, which mm -hmm. are the prayers of the saints, okay? Um, um, you are ready to take the scroll and to open it for you were slain and redeemed by your blood out of every tribe and, 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 and people and nations and, and tongue, Tongue. okay? Now, John didn't say that it was four living creatures and 24 angels. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. John in the Bible has always mentioned angels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when it comes to the 24 elders. special people, he never calls them angels, but he calls them elders. And you know, this one, even this one, he didn't say they are like angels. No, they no. are like elders. He said he was elders. specific. He was specific. Mm -hmm. He was specific by saying 24 elders. So we need to understand that John is not referring to any other but any other thing by referring to a special group of people and when one of them he said one of the elders approached me yeah he didn't say one of the angels so we need to understand that once they are referred to as elders then we cannot 
we cannot conclude that they are angels. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, you know, another description about the 24 elders, mm -hmm. you know, when you read the text, verse 4, in Revelation chapter 4, um, it says that, I saw 24 elders mm. sitting, um, 24 elders sitting, clothed in white robes, mm -hmm. and they had crowns mm -hmm. of crowns of gold mm -hmm. on their head. And so when you see um, clothed in white robes, mm -hmm. Always, um, when the the, the, um, the Bible uses this word, mm -hmm. when someone is clothed in white robe, mm -hmm. yeah. they talk about faithfulness, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, righteousness, mm -hmm. and that is an imputed righteousness from Christ. Mm -hmm. We know that Christ is the righteous one, mm -hmm. and we human beings we've fallen, and so always when we put on the white garment, it represents the imputed righteousness we gain from Christ. Yeah. And so these people are in the <coughs> same shape mm -hmm. by being robed in white garment. Mm -hmm. And so it is a symbol of faithfulness. Mm -hmm. it, it is talking about someone who has overcome mm -hmm. a sinful deed. Mm -hmm. And so it is, um, we, we, we can talk about how we human beings mm -hmm. live, living in this sinful world mm -hmm. accept Christ or um, um, accept to live for God mm. and out of our effort to please God mm. and because of our weakness we can mm -hmm. and so the strength of God that helps us to overcome mm. will help us to um, gain this right um, um, attire which is the white garment and the Bible also talks about there's, the, 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 the something the also there he talks about the crown the crown yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And you see, w with the crown here, it is not diadem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is Stephanos. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know, when he talks about Stephanos, it is like victory, mm -hmm. overcoming. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is what Revelation 2.10 talks about it. Mm -hmm. Revelation 2 verse 10 says, uh, l l let's, let's, let's read. Mm -hmm. It says, do, do not fear any of these, mm -hmm. those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil wants to throw you into prison that mm -hmm. you be tested and you, you have tribulation for 10 days. Be faithful unto death and you have the crown of life. The crown he used, Stephanos, meaning someone who has won the victory. It is like a reward to the faithful who overcomes. Yes. They've been through a battle and they've won. That is why Paul also believed that at the end of the day, he could also receive the crown on the day that Christ will return, as he told Titus. Uh, so when he talks about this, it is it is more like angels have not uh, fought any battle. Mm -hmm. uh, if it was Stephanos, I would have said uh, they are angels. Mm -hmm. But this one, <laughs> if it was diadem, it was diadem yeah. I would say like angels. But this one is Stephanos, mm -hmm. meaning victory. victory crown. People who have gone through challenges. Kind of yeah. So yeah. it is giving us a clear direction that these are Human These beings. are not angels, but they are human beings who have overcome, mm -hmm. who have conquered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, mm -hmm. you know, there is another important thing that um, some scholars overlook, and yeah. that is what John saw in Revelation chapter 5 and uh, 4, as we are reading these 24 elders. This is not the first time that um, human beings have had the opportunity to see the throne room of God. Mm -hmm. As we have read, Isaiah saw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Ezekiel saw it. Mm -hmm. You know, we have read these instances. But do you know that in all the other instances of throne room experience, yeah. none of the Bible writers recorded the 24 elders. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Which suggests mm -hmm. that when Isaiah saw it, mm -hmm. the they 24 elders were not were there. Not yeah, there. Because, uh, when Ezekiel saw it, they were mm -hmm. not there. Mm -hmm. But John saw it, they were there. Mm -hmm. so Which they suggests they that later. they came in later. Yeah. Okay. They, were not, they were not there. Mm -hmm. And you see, 12 is a very significant number in the Bible. Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it stands to reason that the 24 there is a multiplication of, you know, 212. Oh, two yeah. Okay. So a composite of two groups. Two groups. Yeah. And in the priestly uh, arrangement or setting in the uh -huh. Old Testament, 24 yeah. was a very prominent, you know, number there. Yes. Okay. Yes. When you go to yes. First Chronicles 24, you know, when you have your time to read to verse, f f verse 4 to 19, uh -huh. you know, it talks about, you know, the 24 different courses of priests that took turns, you know, during the services. Yeah. So we have 24 priests. When the first 24 are done, the yeah. second 24 go in to run the same shift, okay? Uh -huh. 
And when you look at the John's case of 24 elders, they take part in the priestly worship. Yeah. They are like priests there. Uh -huh. And they, are, they, they take part, you know, um, offering the prayers of the saints to the throne of God. If you read I mean, verse 8 of Revelation yeah. chapter 5. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it, there's a strong connection that these are not angels, but they are elders or they are priests. Or let, let me put it that way. They are human elders mm -hmm. who probably, you know, have been given such a position, you know, in heaven. D d this is a very good. And you see, um, when you're I talking about no. 12, 12 is, a, is, 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 you know, it, it even links to chapter 7, mm -hmm. 12 yeah. times, tel times 100. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. the 144. Yeah. You're talking about 144. Yeah. So 12,000 from each yeah. tribe. Yeah. From the whole Bible, 12 mm -hmm. is a key number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and you know, even when um, you talk about the New Jerusalem, mm -hmm. yeah. the foundation and, and the gates, mm -hmm. he uses the 12 yes. tribes of yes. Israel. Yes. And yes. And the other one also represents the 12 disciples. Mm -hmm. That is the apostles of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, we, we can conclude from here that it is a representation mm -hmm. of human beings yeah. who are, um, uh, have been opportune to represent the human race yeah. in, in the heavenly throne yeah. room. And the, 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 the composite is the first four represent the Old Testament uh, ministry. Mm -hmm. okay. And the, the later 12 represent the New Testament ministry. Mm -hmm. And so we can, we can talk about the, the 12, 12 yeah. putting together. Okay. And so this helps us to understand that when Christ resurrected, you know, when you read um, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew 27. 27. Matthew 27 talks about um, uh, um, Jesus Christ when he died. Yeah. And when um, um, the, the earth shook. The Bible says that um, let me graves were, were open. Let me, let me, yeah, let me graves read. were open. Matthew chapter 27, okay. verses 51 to 53. Mm -hmm. Then behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two mm -hmm. from top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the earth quaked and the rocks were split. Uh -huh. And the graves were open, uh -huh. and mm -hmm. many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Mm -hmm. And coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Yeah, yeah. so um, as we started with, um, the 24 elders, the Bible didn't give us uh, um, a very specific um, um, description or identification mm -hmm. that these are the 24 elders. And so they are proposals that people make. And we are trying to put us, um, 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 ourselves in one side that um, they cannot refer to angels because of the description that are given. But we can emphatically say that, um, or propose that they represent the human race. And we are alluding it to Matthew 27, the saints who resurrected when Christ died. Mm. And these people um, um, proposedly we have been opportune to um, be part of the heavenly worship. Mm. And they represent the time that we will also get the chance to be with Christ in heaven. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it is telling us that when we accept Christ, this time we may suffer or die. But if even we die, when Christ comes the second time, as these people resurrected and are now in heaven with God, we will also resurrect and be with us Father mm -hmm. in heaven. So yeah. it's like the promise that Jesus gives to yeah. them. That yeah. to the overcomers, yeah. and you know, Revelation chapter three twenty one talks about that. Mm -hmm. Revelation three twenty one talks yeah. about that before you enter the throne room of God, mm -hmm. say to him who overcome, yeah, I will, I will grant him to sit with, with me, me on the throne. As I've said, so the position of the twenty four elders is a special place that God has created for them. Yeah, yeah. 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 But le let me let me just add this, you know, to clear all confusion. Mm -hmm. um, the Bible never specifically gave identification of these people mm -hmm. no. okay but we are alluding to tests and making reference okay yeah. to believe that this is so B and you know i know people are going to be asking but the the holy city that this resurrected saint went into um may not be heaven yeah but it will be jerusalem mm -hmm. okay people say that but you know, when you also read um ephesians 4 8 it makes mm -hmm. us understand that when christ was resurrected he made captives of 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 a of, of host of captives, you know, Thanks. and and we want to believe that probably we don't know which of these resurrected bodies went into heaven, mm -hmm. or we don't know how many even resurrected, mm -hmm. 
And where they went after they had gone to the Holy City and manifested themselves to many people, where they were, we have no idea all of these things. But these are the description the Bible is giving us, and these are the evidence that suggests that they may not be angels, but they may be human beings. Yeah. And if they are human beings, then possibly Glorify it sense. is possible that it is among these people. Some say then probably Moses among, Abraham is among. For, we for don't that know one, we can't really talk that. about it. Okay. Ha. And I always say that let's let's do our part. Let us heaven. let us not get ourselves caught in some of these debates mm -hmm. and arguments. Let us find what God wants to, us to know and communicate to us in this important, you know, um, prophetic ways, and that is hope. Hope that when we die we will resurrect again. And that, you know, is the, that is the essential you know, thing. They are also in the business of worship. worship. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you read verse, verse 9, you see, when the four living creatures worship says, Holy, Holy, Lord God of mine, who mm -hmm. was, who is, and who is to come. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever the living creatures give, verse 9, give glory and mm -hmm. honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the, ten, the 24 elders fall down before him who sit on the throne and mm -hmm. worship him who lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, mm -hmm. saying, You are worthy, O Lord, mm -hmm. to receive glory and honor mm -hmm. and power. For, thou, for you created all things, and, for, and by thy will yeah. they yeah. exist yeah. and were created. Yeah. So even how even they say it tells that these people are redeemed, they, mm -hmm. they, they are redeemed, mm -hmm. and they give mm -hmm. glory to God for mm -hmm. what they have been granted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but because of time, can can we can you do a quick uh, reading. Read, reading in chapter chapter five? All right. So viewers, yeah. we are now skipping to chapter five, and it's going to introduce us to a whole there. new, you know, um, um, series. No, um, not a whole new. It's a link to. It's yeah, the flow it is, of it. But yeah. we are because I realize you, you read you read some parts there. Already, sure, yeah. sure, sure. So let me read um, Revelation chapter five. Yeah. All right. Um, quickly, um, verse one. It says that and I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne. A scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with the seven seals. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth uh, was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much, because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamp as a though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent out into all the earth. Then he came, to, he, then he came and took the screw out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now when he had taken the screw, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the lamp, each having a half, and a golden bowl of incense, which mm -hmm. are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open the seals. Mm -hmm. For you were slain, and you have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Then I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, and the living creatures, and the elders, and the number of them were was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, mm -hmm. saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as I in the sea and all that are in them, I heard saying, Blessed and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and the Lamb forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen. And the 24 elders fell down and worshipped him who lives forever. Hallelujah. So, so, so you, see, you see the last part you read? Yeah. The four living creatures, the 24 elders, mm -hmm. this one goes and this one comes. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. They flow like that. Yeah. This one has to do something and the other one yeah. follows. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, this is an amazing chapter. And really? <laughs> I, lo I love Revelation <laughs> chapter 5. And it's you see, we, we are still in the same service. setting. Yeah. In the same true mood of God. Mm -hmm. This is happening there. Mm -hmm. And we've seen this, this thing there that, uh, you know, the, the screw, uh, mm -hmm. if it was our time, you would have said a book, a book. <laughs> or, or a tablet, right? <laughs> 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 or a laptop or a tablet, <laughs> like a book. Yeah, he talks mm -hmm. about the screw. Um, 
and and this 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 is like the the entrument of mm -hmm. so Christ. What what we what there are so many things that we can learn from here. Yeah. So as Pastor is just saying now, this is the entrument of Christ when Christ was enthroned, and it begins with one of the things that we often say. We we, we say this a lot. Where is Jesus Christ? We say Jesus Christ is now at the right hand side or seated at the right hand of God. So he says, and I saw in the right hand mm -hmm. of him who sat on the throne, a scroll. Okay, so the scroll was in the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Who sits on the throne? Mm, that's, that's it's God. Th there is something so beautiful here, mm -hmm. uh, as suggested by one scholar by the name of Ranko Savonovic. Mm -hmm. And he says that the right hand denotes a power, mm -hmm. and not just the hand but some kind of authority. Mm -hmm. And it points to somebody. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. some people say that you don't see Christ there. Mm -hmm. But at the right hand, mm -hmm. who sits at the right hand? Mm -hmm. Is it not Jesus Christ? Yeah, Christ yeah. So at the right hand, mm -hmm. and who has the authority? Later on, as the elder said, who has the authority to open the scroll? It's, it's Christ. The, the one who sits on the right the, hand. The mm -hmm. one who sits on the right hand. Mm -hmm. So this, this expression here, um, do, do need to suggest that Christ sits at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. And he is the only one who has the power to open or to take the screw. Because it says that we are looking for somebody who is way to, yeah. first of all, take the screw mm -hmm. and to look at it. Yeah. And there was nobody. And John cried. And John it was, it cried. was like disappointment. Disappointment. Hope is lost. Th that is it. But I said, don't cry because the, 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 the lamb who was slain is ready to, to take it and to open it. Uh, yeah, I think um, the subsequent mm -hmm. series will unfold the screws yeah. and whatever yeah. it is, um, is in it. But um, in our context of mm -hmm. revealing um, the divinity of God, the divinity of Christ and yeah. the Spirit, and also why they deserve to be worshipped, I think we need to continue the series by emphasizing, you know, in our previous lesson, mm -hmm. we discussed that the four living creatures first um they, they they sang the first song mm -hmm. and that is calling all humanity to worship god mm -hmm. who is the almighty mm -hmm. and um, um, um who was and is and is to come and the 24 elders also called all the world to worship god because he's the creator mm -hmm. and and the sustainer of our world and we now hear Another song that is that is being sung here, mm -hmm. and that is um, being sung by the angels. Mm -hmm. Here is not um, the twenty-four elders, mm -hmm. nor the um, four living creatures, but here it is the um, angels who are singing, and they are singing to the glorification of Christ, mm -hmm. and their song denotes that Christ also deserves to be worshipped. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so they are saying, now there is another being who deserves our worship. Mm -hmm. And he is Christ. Mm -hmm. And why should we worship Christ? Mm -hmm. And they said, because he died. They, um, um, he shed his blood yeah. for us. Yeah. And that, that, that the other song, which is the fourth mm -hmm. song, is also given to us by the composite of the 24 elders, the four living creatures, mm -hmm. and the angels mm -hmm. together. Yeah. And they are also singing another song that the, the, the lamb also deserves to be worshipped. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Why should we worship the lamb? Because he united us with our God. Yeah. It means that there was a disintegration between humanity mm -hmm. and God. Mm -hmm. And Christ deserves our worship because he has been able to build us to God again. And the last one is, I think, the, the song that will be sung by everyone on the universe. Mm. And he says that, he saw multitude of people. Mm -hmm. That is the last song. He says yeah. that uh, all creature, mm -hmm. and, and that is the few song, verse um, 13. He mm -hmm. says that, and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them, I heard saying, blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne, that is God himself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to the Lamb forever and ever. Amen. 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 And so <laughs> this is the last song. And it is, it is being sung to um, God and Christ mm -hmm. in, uh, and says that they deserve our worship. Mm -hmm. 
why should we worship um, 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 them? And he says that um, after the song, the four living creatures um, said Amen, mm -hmm. and the 24 elders fell down <coughs> and worshipped him yeah. who lives forever Amen. and ever. Amen. And so that is, that is what is given to us here. Yeah. So everything in chapter 4 and 5 is talking about worship. Mm. And we need to worship the triune God. Yeah. Why? They created us. They sustained our lives. And we lost our union with our creator. And Christ united us again. And now the Holy Spirit is bonding us. And so we need to worship them. So you Hallelujah. see how you were talking about Jesus Christ and how he has conquered and everything. Yes. You see, when you read verse 5, of Revelation 5, he mm -hmm. says, But one of the elders said to me, mm -hmm. that is, he's talking about the 24 yeah, elders, yeah, yeah. Weep not, or do not weep. Mm -hmm. Behold, surprise, the land, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed. You know, you know how he described Jesus? Jesus. The, lion the lion of the, of the tribe of Judah, the root, the root of, of David. Of David. Mm -hmm. And you see, this description refers us back to Genesis chapter 49, verse mm -hmm. 9. Mm -hmm. It talks about what Jacob's final blessing, where Judah was called a victorious mm -hmm. lion. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you look at the title, it tells something very important. The strength, mm -hmm. the courage, mm -hmm. the majestic appearance mm -hmm. of a lion. That is what it is. You see, Jesus has conquered. Mm -hmm. Victorious. He victorious. He has gone through. And you see, it is very important because if Jesus didn't hold on to his mission, Jesus, mm -hmm. Satan, in Matthew chapter 5, mm -hmm. would have twatted its plans. Yes, course. yes, yes. Because he was human. Yeah. So the angel understand, the, the elder understand what he's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it is not an easy thing. He has conquered. Mm -hmm. And, 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 you know and uh, by, by his position, he was the only one who, 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 who was could take it. Worthy. Yes, who was worthy, worthy to take yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you see, how he described it tells that Jesus. At a certain point in time in Gethsemane, he wanted to give up. To give up. Yeah. <laughs> but at that point, he says, Father, not my own, but your will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for, for Jesus to go through all this, he says, he described him to say that the lion of the tribe of Judah, talking yeah. about the Messianic yeah. history yeah. of David, yeah. the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Has prevailed. Yeah, the, I, I wanted us to even emphasize on the verb that is used, has Prevail. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, 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 you know, it, 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 it talks about this, uh, superior, being superior in strength. Yeah. And so for us to know that someone is superior in strength, it means that the person has struggled with another person mm -hmm. and has conquered that mm -hmm. person. True. And so Christ persevered in Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. And he went ahead to Golgotha. Mm -hmm. And he conquered Satan. Mm -hmm. And so Christ is now the superior um, 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 conqueror. And it, it also talks about dominance. Yeah. When you talk about someone prevailing, mm -hmm. it talks about dominance. And it also talks about influence and frequency. Mm -hmm. And so the, 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 the frequency aspect talk about now, there is no one to take over from Christ. Yeah. It is a once and for all victory. And he rules over all. Yeah. And you see, he talks about the line of David. Yes. The line of yeah. David. Yeah. <laughs> And that is, that is where, where it's talked about. I think yeah. Isaiah chapter 11, verse. Please let's read that. Isaiah okay. 11, verse 1. Okay. Isaiah 11, 1. Mm -hmm. And it says, There shall come forth a rod from the stem of what Jesse, mm -hmm. yeah. and a branch, and a branch shall grow out of its roots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so it was a prophecy yeah. in connection with um, yeah. the, f the, the coming of Christ. And immediately it says the root of David, we know who he's referring mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. We so know who he's referring to. We, 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 we need to understand that we are looking at Revelation chapter 5. Mm -hmm. And there is one prominent thing that is running throughout. And that is, that is what brought about the joy, and that is the screw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he says that um, I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne. A screw that was written inside and out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so probably there's this book, or y I mean, you know, a screw in yeah, your mind material. that that has writings both inside and out. Yeah, but 
it has been until, sealed until you open you can see it that. has been sealed with seven seal yeah and you know in the days of john yeah. it was something that was common especially yeah. even among the rumors that before a will will be authenticated yeah. it must have at least seven seals on it yeah. mm -hmm. you know when jesus christ died they had to put a seal you no know, on the truth completeness it yeah. makes it complete okay yeah. and this one had seven seals Seven is a special number, mm -hmm. you know, with mm -hmm. God, uh, co representing completeness, fullness. Mm -hmm. And this scroll was so powerful mm -hmm. that there was a special qualification. In fact, no one was no able, one was able to, to open, to, to even to go for it. For it. <laughs> More or less to look at it, nobody was able to do that. But something interesting is here is that we later will find out that mm -hmm. it, is, it is not about the things in the scroll. Mm -hmm. But what happens when the when school the is open? open? Yeah. That, that is where the concentration is. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we didn't even get to know what was inside. Mm -hmm. But the event that would take place when these schools are opened would actually unfold the entire history of the world. Mm -hmm. I think, okay. um, and you see, the, the point he's making is that, uh, you see, because of what happens when the school is open tells the one who is worthy that is it mm -hmm. to open that, that is it mm -hmm. and no wonder and it has been sealed with <laughs> seven see, seals the surprising thing is that you see the principle of i hear i see here mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. comes here yeah mm -hmm. now john sees a, a lion of the tribe of judah mm -hmm. no no no. he hears mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they, he hears that the lion of the tribe of judah has prevailed mm -hmm. then he turned to expect to see what that liar who has prevailed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then says he sees what yeah a lamp yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah now he sees a lamp and, and you see I the I the, I the I lamp is used 28 times in the book of revelation mm -hmm. to refer the crucified the risen and glorified jesus christ mm -hmm. <laughs> and so he heard a lion yeah and he saw a lamp yeah <laughs> a direct um <laughs> 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 you know it's so just, he's expecting to see a lion yeah 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 but mm -hmm. we, we okay. So we need we need to um, understand that I think the, we will emphasize on the seals and it will yeah. in our subsequent yeah. discussion. So um, viewers, please catch us up next week, God willing, to 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 see what really happens when the seals are open mm -hmm. and what the seals actually are. Mm -hmm. But today we we are trying to help ourselves to understand that Christ is the victorious lamb mm. and he is the only one who is worthy to open the scrolls and if we, we 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 get to understand the meaning of the scrolls we will know how to live as faithful people mm. uh, of god and we need to understand that if we want to worship we shouldn't worship our pastors mm. we shouldn't worship um, our job mm. uh, our managers our ceos Sometimes we pay allegiance to human beings and forget that there is someone who is worthy of our worship. Mm. Some people see Jesus Christ as a Jew who came to live and he's <laughs> gone. Mm. Some people see Jesus Christ as a mere man of history. Mm. But I bet you, if you want to be saved, you need to cling to him. Mm. He is the worthy one mm. who can um, uh, bore our souls. And he is the only one who is worthy to receive our uh, worship. Amen. Okay, so before Amen. we run out, our time is up. But before we run out, in verse, in verse uh, 6, it says, And behold, and I look, and behold, in the midst of the throne of the four living creatures, in the midst of the elders stood a lamp. Mm. Take note of this word, a lamp, as though it had been slain, mm -hmm. having seven horns. Mm. And seven eyes, which are, the seven which are the seven spirits of God, sent out into the earth. You see, when Jesus, people said that when Jesus was enthroned, mm -hmm. now the church was born. Yeah. Because Pentecost happened immediately, Jesus was enthroned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus says, I will send you a comforter, mm -hmm. he meant it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. mm -hmm. So the church was born when Jesus was enthroned. Yeah. And that, that is the clear evidence of what he's saying that the seven were sent. That is the complete, is the holy, the complete letter mm -hmm. of, of of God's spirit mm -hmm. sent down to what, to the church. So we can conclude that this mm -hmm. this scene here took place behind the scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After Christ has you know ascended to heaven. Yeah. When his disciples were on earth waiting for the promise. The promise. But when he went there, he sent out the seven And spirits. the promise is sure. The Jesus yeah. never disappointed. He never disappointed. I, I want us to take a mental picture of this. It's, it's, yeah. it's so fascinating. Yeah. 
you know, now Jesus died on earth mm -hmm. and he resurrected. He went up to heaven in that chapter um, um, one. Yeah. And so when he went up to heaven, 50 days. The, the, the 50 days, that is. Yeah. So the disciples came back from the mountain to Jerusalem, yeah. waiting for the promise. And so if it is a movie, what the next shot moved from this earth mm -hmm. to heaven. Mm -hmm. And so that is the that ceremony. Yes, the, the ceremony. The yeah. ceremony. That is what we are discussing here. Yeah. And so when Christ entered heaven, now he needed to be enthroned. Uh -huh. And so and when you know at the same time the disciples were working were on themselves. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. And so there is there is another activity happening on earth mm -hmm. when they, they replaced Judas. Mm -hmm. And so all the those things were happening. Getting and together. So yeah. Right after that, mm -hmm. they also went in mm -hmm. waiting for you know, when Jesus was on earth discussing um about his ascension with the disciples. The heavenly throne, we can just make a pictorial view that they were waiting for him. Yeah. And so when he went there, the disciples also are on earth waiting for the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And so immediately Christ was enthroned, the Holy Spirit moved from heaven to and come. came to this yeah. earth. Mm -hmm. And that is the scene in Acts chapter 2, the Pentecost experience. Yeah. That is and so that is what we want to end with you today. That Jesus' promise is sure. Yeah. You can trust Jesus. He sits on the throne and he has said it. He's going to prepare a mansion for us. Uh, he will come. Yeah, he's come. He coming. Don't miss that room that has been allocated for you. We'll come back next week with another important lesson. Why don't you share a word of prayer? Let us pray. It is so wonderful to know that you are God whose promises are sure. Mm -hmm. And today, through your word of prophecy, you made us understand that what you said or whatever you say is what you do. Help us to really rely on your word and your promises so that we will live a life of victory for you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. 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 Beloved, we'll be back next week with another important lesson. But if you have time, why don't you take some few shared time and read Revelation chapter 6. God will lead you to something important there. See you next week. Bye.